record-breaking loss at that U.S. amateur to Stephen Fox. Now to the most celebrated amateur. And golf was banned in China until 1984. It was considered a bourgeois sport. Today, it is beginning to open up, but still, there are only 360,000 golfers, uh, nothing in a country of more than a billion people. Could a 14-year-old begin to change that? With more, here's Todd Lewis. Well, Rich, China is actually home to 1.35 billion people, which makes up close to 20% of the world's population. And about a quarter of a century ago, golf really was not on the sporting and cultural landscape there. But that is changing. It's starting to explode in the country. And the future looks very bright for golf in China. And some of that future is resting on the narrow shoulders of Tian Long Wang, the 14 year old competing here in the Masters. We traveled to China to learn more about this teenager and the road he traveled to get to Augusta National. Wow, what a performance! History has been made. He will be in the field in Augusta. With his wire to wire win at the Asia Pacific Amateur Championship in November, 14 year old Tian Long Guan assured himself a place in the history books and the headlines, becoming the youngest player ever in the field at Augusta National. For a young Chinese player to win this event, I think we'll look back on this as a turning point in world golf. This is just fantastic. Tian Long currently attends Zhixin Middle School in Guangzhou. The largest city in southern China. Despite his unique skill, he is not unlike your typical eighth grader. Go to normal school at, at Guangzhou, China, and and I go to practice maybe two hours daily, do some homework, and go to sleep. Though his routine seems normal, his teachers and classmates are inquisitive about his accomplishments and well aware of his growing popularity. <laughs> His introduction to the game began in 2002, when at the age of four he tagged along with his father to a local golf course. Long Long is four years old, he started to go to the field with me. He didn't have any skills. He started to go to the field at six years old, he started to go to the field at five years old with a... It soon became clear to Han Wen and his wife Han Yu, their son had found his niche. Seven years old, he played those mini course games, that is, children playing the games. He played ten or eleven holes, ten little birds. I think this little, this little. At a young age, Guan started competing and winning, and not just in his home country. His first trip to the U.S. came in 2005 to play in the Junior World in San Diego at the age of six. Five years later, he would win the same tournament by a record 11 shots, joining a list of winners that includes Phil Mickelson, Ernie Els, and Tiger Woods. In 2012, he attempted to qualify for the U.S. Open at Lakewood Golf Club in New Orleans, where the Guan family met Jimmy Hedrick, a PGA of America national junior golf leader. I think his golf game is driven by his internal desire to be good. When I had a chance to spend some good time with him, you know, when he tells me, you know, his, his hero is Tiger Woods, he's really, this young man's focused. Woods, who played in his first Masters at the age of 19, got an up-close look at the kid they call the Chinese Tiger in 2010 when Guan was able to join his idol on the par 317th at the Pro-Am of the HSBC Champions. We knew he was going to be good. We didn't think he was going to be in the Masters in two years. It's pretty exciting to watch him, but uh, I'll say I played with him twice in the past couple years. He gave me many advice. Every time I play with him, I feel a lot better and uh, gives myself some confidence. Tian Long's junior resume includes a title in Nick Faldo's Worldwide Series in 2012. The three-time Masters champion was impressed, to say the least, and recently worked with the young prodigy in China, specifically focusing on his appearance at Augusta this week. So for Augusta, you're going to need more backspin. You hit your spin is very low. It's a long way to go in this game. Um, the most important thing is that 
you set goals along the way, just step by step, get comfortable and, and enjoy the journey. I mainly just want him to enjoy the game, understand the magnitude of the masters and uh, uh, gain from experience. The teenager's place in history is assured, but he has larger dreams, aiming to make the cut and eventually become the first Chinese male golfer to win a major championship. No one at this age could say that he win and play at the Masters. If people don't know who he is, they will know him a lot more in the days to come. A 14-year-old to be able to come out here and handle himself the way he's done, just unbelievable. And I think I can win the Masters, I think. Confident or naive? Either way, the fascination with Tian Longguan continues to grow. But at 14 years old, who didn't have dreams? Some are just a little bigger than others. Tian Longguan actually arrived in Augusta close to a month ago to get ready for the Masters. And as other players started arriving here on the grounds, this young 14 year old approached some of the biggest in the game for some advice on how to play this course and actually asked them for some practice time on the course. Names like Phil Mickelson, Ben Crenshaw, Tiger Woods, who we played with yesterday, and Tom Watson, who we played with today. Rich, I've watched him over the last few days. He is not intimidated by the course behind me and the stars he will compete against. Todd, nice piece. He's just in uh, eighth grade, but he's in graduate <laughs> school for golf right now with some of the best professors in the world. Frank, the Asia Pacific Amateur Championship, which you covered last year, you saw uh, the youngster firsthand, uh, was started in 2009. Why is the Masters so invested in this tournament and, and so heavily invested in growing golf in Asia? Well, there's a difference in what Augusta National and the RNA are doing. A lot of developers have gone there to make money, obviously, by building golf courses or, or complexes. What Augusta and the RNA have done, they're trying to develop the game within there. It's fine to go and build courses and, and build clubhouses and that, but if you don't get stars within that system, the country can't embrace it. So there's a lot of weight on Juan's shoulders for that very reason. We know he's good, and there's a lot of expectations. For example, the golf course that he practiced at is a, is a true property called Lions, uh, excuse me, Lions Gate, which was opened in 2009, and they built a special putting green for him. He's the only one that uses it, and they actually mow it at almost a gust of green speed, so he can prepare when he goes uh, on his travels. But it's so important no matter how much money is pumped in, that they develop from within. And he's the first real youngster that shows tremendous promise. So it, it, it's huge. It really is huge. And Augusta sees that. Does it matter what he shoots? Um, I'd like to say no, but everybody will focus. Everybody will look and, and see his name. But, but we, we're going to see his name again. I, I, I really enjoyed watching him play, and, and I've seen some of the golf that he can play. And, and for me, I'd honestly say the scores are relevant this week, but I know everybody will look at it. All right, stay with us. Another uh, a kid who was uh, a prodigy uh, at 14, Rory McIlroy, all grown up at 23. We'll size up Rory's chances. Won the last major by eight. Well, that seems like a long time ago, given what he's been through.